So welcome back everybody into another New York session. This morning during the London one, we have monitored your USD, gold, GP USD, and also something of GJ. And uh, if you remember, we were looking at this PSA, for example, on your USD, we're looking at this PSA for possible buys above that, or I mean, we were not looking for sales, but we understood that this PSA was a relevant one and we actually got uh, the, the trade idea that I was looking on your USD uh, working out, sorry, working out uh, right after the New York, uh, the, my London session close. If you remember, I had this trade idea below these lows and it actually happened 10 minutes after my uh, session close and we see that price broke, retested single candle and pump would have gone into uh, TP. I mean, overall, it went down around 30 pips, yes, and giving multiple uh, opportunities also. This one is the first one, then you will see maybe below these lows or some retest or whatever, and below this other hourly energy level, one, oh, 1.093, uh, not the cleanest one because, for example, the first entry would have been uh, a loss. But you can see that after bouncing, after the rejection of the same PSA multiple times, as we know, that's what happens with the currency pairs. Then we added the re breakout and retest of this uh, hourly PSA. You can see also when the price is actually breaking below these lows. That's when you can see possible retest or the high risk reward. And this one will go uh, around 10, 12 pips. Yeah. Almost this end, even this entry would have been prof profitable by the people, but yes. And uh, so now we are coming into the New York session. We have this hourly sort of PSA that we want to monitor. I don't know on the 20 tick chart. Uh, what it corresponds, yeah, is in the middle of over here. So I'm not really looking uh, for it as a possible price action, uh, price sensitivity area during New London, during uh, New York, sorry. But for sure, we have these PSAs. Where I'll be looking for sales below here. Or if we break above, then I will be looking for buys uh, above these highs and the key level. But apart from that, I'm going to monitor the live price action. And this is talking about EU. So EU, the main trade idea will be this one. Or oh, above that. Here it's, I think it's uh, still around five pips. Yeah, we might take even high risk high reward above this level because at, at least just to reach the, the key level, it's around five pips, which will be at least at break even. And then you have the chance of price continuing up. But yeah, we're going to see with the start of the New York session. What do we have here? We have GJ. GJ, um, yeah, we, uh, I didn't leave any trade idea. We see that, we can see though that price continue bullish. So we, we add this PSA, this huge PSA now and PPL if it gets broken, uh, yeah, we might see price uh, spiking up, pushing upwards. And, but yeah, we saw from this morning that we saw the breaker retest of DP, this PPL price already moved around 100 pips on the hub side. Uh, as per intraday, the movement was quite clean, but as you can see that on the lower time frame, we gave some uh, strong um, bounce. I remember that I was looking for buys above this, this PPL, uh, which played out. Also, we, we got a retest exactly on the dot of the same PPL, 180 flat uh, for the price to then continue or above this uh, this PSA after the, we see multiple liquidity grab and the price trying to break below. But I mean, this PSA is basically the same. So at this time, price is just ranging. You want you want it to break above. Still, in that sense, in that case, when you see price that is breaking above this last eyes, which is also this previous PSA, when it's breaking above, you might find a good entry to uh, scalp up 
to the like this is 20 pips up to the next uh, following ppl yeah it's more than 20 pips gpu usd uh, moved like sort of like a, a euro usd where we got uh, but moved less we, where we got this rejection at these eyes that we were looking for buys above that and yeah uh, it was a little bit difficult because it was uh, about it was and it's not a clear cut entry uh, at this level but possible trade idea would be uh, at the retest of these lows for more than 10 pips but apart from that you can see that it did not move in a single one direction like uh, euro usd did from here bam it's a very steep uh, move while on as you can see that after the first impulsive move over here it kind of moved sideways in between these eyes and these overall lows so you can see that it was not really that clean might have given a spike up for around yeah, 10 pips uh, on the break above this um, above the ppl above the other block i sorry but apart from that yeah immediately corrected so not really moving uh, as good as it did uh, GJ or EURUSD. Here uh, we are seeing um, gold on the hourly as well, moved quite bearish now. We are facing this rejection at 2044, 2045, uh, but let's see now also this hourly, uh, of course it already started, but already made that top week and now is possibly flipping bearish. You can see this is the hourly, uh, it actually opened over here and is already possibly flipping bearish and uh, so yeah let's see yeah it opened at at the level yeah because it opened actually down here yeah it opened down here and then uh got up then pushed down now we might possibly see um some correction uh, some continuation on the bearish side will be with clear cut uh, retest of these lows or even maybe the safest low here I'm not going to really look for buys above there but that's, that might possibly be the idea the safest one of course will be uh, above the other key level especially if he's creating some uh, market structure for that. So, so this is GU, but more, mostly I'm going to uh, look at uh, EURUSD and gold since we are on the, during the, long, the New York session, which we know is there's plenty of volume for this, um, for these pairs and Is 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 uh, still uh, a little bit of a time for some time for some good news. Uh, we have the now. Oh, well, let me show you. We have, as I was saying this morning, we have the PMIs uh, and the jobs, jobs job openings uh, at four, which is the ten a.m. Eastern, and is in uh, one hour and a half. So in the 90 minutes. So probably if I'm not going to see some clear cut by section before that, I'm going to just wait for the news to or at least New York Stock Exchange opening to give to bring some volume to the table.
Yeah, DJ staying above here, it's very good. Uh, still, uh, I don't see a clear cut entry since you see that the price is hovering up and down from this PPL. Reject, uh, retested this area before pushing up. I mean, these are quite nice ranges, including around 25 pips. It's a, it's a very nice range. So, That's why I also might, if I had to, to shift my style, uh, having just even a 10 pip stop loss and uh, a 20, 30 pip TP is not that that huge. It's, a, it's not that, that weird on GJ. And now we are seeing in 20 seconds, uh, 30 seconds, we have the comics open. Let's see if it gold gives us anything interesting. Okay, for now it just uh, sort of retested the, the key level and let's see if it's going to push up from there. So for now it's breaking below the key level. Let's see if it continues, if it retests and continues down, then it's around 30 pips down to the to the next PSA, to the to the next to the previous lows. Your USD is still hovering over here, not really moving too much. GU the same. DJ still hovering at the PPL over here. Like that. This is a sort of interesting PSA for possible continuation. Yeah, good. Briefly retested this level. And I mean, from exactly the, the, where we were looking for, uh, now we were looking from the moment we saw the price breaking below. It already go right around 70 pips. Mm, yes. Okay, yeah, adjusting to risk around 1%. No, there's no point. Yeah. So for now, it looks like that is going to to go directly to the to the to the PSA. Also, yeah, uh, we probably missed this entry on EURUSD, this one, we got a breakery test, very quick breakery test of these lows, 
and uh, yeah price is already yeah basically five pips in profit would have been a break even trade almost and uh, let's see if it's uh, some USD strength No, which this one is the price giving us another chance before pushing back down or oh, it was a uh, rejection yeah, also on GU the price looks like that dollar is moving uh, bearish quite aggressively so yeah that it moved up this one would have been a loss almost going to break even but not yeah almost break even but not break even and let's see the following price action GU bounce from this hourly PSA as well so more or less can be a bit anywhere DJ still any PPL and let's have a look at uh, Euro USD what it wanted to do so far it's not really in that trendy fashion where you are 100% confident that the price is moving in a single direction mm, gold is slowly going to those uh, yeah, it would already be a break even but it's slowly going to those 30 pips uh, if it keeps pushing down with some dollar strength and uh, but yeah mm, we never got the retest of this area so that's why we, did, we didn't have any entry okay Yeah, as you can see, uh, gold mm. from the entry point. I mean, we never got the retest, but just from the entry point that we were uh, looking at, especially if we adjust this at, for the new one, uh, the, at the break below, yeah, would already be in profit, uh, would have been in at TP. Now let's see if we're going to have a continuation below these lows. Maybe we can get a retest of this one, of this area, before the continuation. USD push back into the range. So so far nothing really nothing really to to take a trade about uh yeah we did miss a possible loss over here but because we are not looking at the chart and yeah gu still pushing up is now did the breaker retest 
very quick of the same PSA and yeah I'm pushed around for pips let's see if it's getting giving us a retest for a possible continuation up or if we missed that entry yeah UUSD did not I mean might have given us the same entry but not that as such a relevant PSA I mean here this one's all aligned so that's okay <laughs> okay i think i'm going to be back into the new four hour candle which will be in one second for you so i'm back and it's actually new york stock exchange open and just to monitor what happened throughout this time as what we saw on USD will have been exactly a break even trade as i was saying exactly as per this trade idea uh, there was just enough of a of a time of a space for um for a break even for a possible break even trade uh, if it wanted to push up okay but at least we were not risking a stop loss and after that yeah we saw a very strong push back and strong reaction from that area uh yeah of course probably would <laughs> in, in, in hindsight would have been better to just stick to the cells but anyway you see that price rejected this area and then closed bearish i don't know if there was any possible entry over here but yeah that uh, that would have been the case uh let's see gbp usd uh, you see that the entry would have been a win. Uh, the retest it gave us, uh, while I was talking about that, gave us the, the, the possible retest, but still uh, would have been a win. And just I missed that. I didn't enter. I, I chicken out. And then same thing. Here, a little bit more clearly, the entry uh, could have also been on the breaker retest of this same PSA and for a continuation back to the same lows yeah with a two pip drawdown would have been a 10 pip win so that's not too shabby as well and let's go let's see gj okay well now yeah so it started moving uh right now after uh the new four hour we got a breakout from this area and the retest would have been quite wide i mean and an entry would have been over here yeah would have already moved like 30 pips which is uh something absolutely uh, good yeah the trade idea was absolutely valid and great uh then if we look at the gold gold um actually <laughs> you see uh that before pushing down look at what it give us gives us exactly the retest of this PSA the PSA that we were looking at and the uh, sort of also the key level we were looking exactly for this price action to happen and uh, exactly on the dot you can see that with our three pips drawdown would have gone to 30 pips and also giving us the chance to have a second entry so this one would have been the, the first entry exactly as uh, we wanted and the second entry would have been uh, here because yeah price would have given us uh, this was the entry or even here this was the entry this was the p and then a retest of these lows for 30 more pips so uh, that's uh, that's simply the second trade idea also playing out uh, with the proper price action, with the proper confirm, and yeah, with the proper patience, uh, you see that how it would have worked out both the uh, both the entries, just as per pre-planned trade idea. Wow, price then pushed down quite a lot. We got a further retest. Possible next trade idea would have been this one break below these lows. Yeah, with this retest 
this entry will have given us another uh, another win yeah that's as simple as that just looking at the price section and uh, yeah mm, ta -ta 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 -ta. okay and now we're going to see with the new york stock exchange price action and with the uh with the other with the reports that we are going to see in around uh 30 minutes yeah 35 minutes more or less okay and this is your usd your usd now these lows yeah okay so in the meantime yeah when well, i was not at the chart we saw another impulsive this is yeah, in the last two minutes just a lot of volume on gold uh we saw this spike down from these lows 
and the possible retest of 2034. Yeah, on the hourly, since this morning, since this morning, yeah, we went down around 300 pips, which is quite huge. And um, yeah, now we are possibly getting the retest of these lows for the continuation down. Also, at the same time, GPUSD is moving up, and uh, let's see if we can manage to break above these highs. Now, yeah, we uh, bounce from these lows so far. Uh, even on the hourly, we are seeing some stronger rejections from this area, but uh, I want to see the price to clearly break above these highs in order to have a retest. Your USD the same not really giving us anything so far and GJ yeah and GJ we're not looking for much but yeah above these eyes where high risk it would be below these lows okay and gold yeah gold overing at these lows uh, for the possible continuation of the bearish price action yeah look at that it is nice not doesn't have much chance but yeah this this trade idea that we had uh was just uh impatient to to wait for the retest and taking the entry and then we had the continuation over there it's not impatient but it's the fact that i left the chart and uh, that's the main issue so far gbp usd not giving us the, the confirmation Already buy. Okay, yeah. Euro USD. It's a little bit in a range. Um, let's see what some possible trade ideas. Yeah, will be the break below these lows and above this high. So yeah, basically it's up below these lows and above these highs. Let's see if we, if we create other pivot points over here. At least then we can take the possible continuation up. But that's uh, for now, this single candle green point is not, uh, it's not relevant enough. Gold might have been found some rejection over here. And uh, yeah, with a possible continuation down but so far uh, I would prefer to wait for the actual report which is which are in uh, 18 minutes okay mm -mm -mm.
Okay, so for now we are seeing the, the price is uh, breaking above on Euro USD. We are breaking above this previous PSA, this uh, first PSA. Same thing is happening on GBP USD. As I was saying, I wanted some more confirmation on uh, Euro USD for for us to take this. Okay, yeah. Um, Price will bounce and go to this area. It might need a retest because we are so bearish on the uh, high time frame that is not even funny. Yeah, we might have reacted at an hourly PSA as well, so that might be partly the reason for this idea. But let's see, this is going to be fueled uh, to go to the upside. Okay, I remember that in 12 minutes we have the actual data report. This retest on GU was not really the fanciest one. Might do the work.
but yeah, we never got the the retest on EuroUSD. Let's see now about possible bounce for here, but we are now getting close to the to the report time. GPUSD, same thing. Uh, moving a little bit more than uh, EuroUSD. I mean, if we got an entry exactly at this level, this one would have been a win in trade already, but not really mm, something that's white. And uh, gold, gold. Uh, so we saw that uh, this one was good not to to enter because of this price action. And uh, now price went and broke and retested on the opposite side. So we, with this possible setup, but of course I saw it afterwards. Uh, so it was not a pre-planned idea or anything. So it's not like a missed trade. Let's see if it's going to reach at least around 20 pips before the news. And uh, yeah, GPUSD also your USD has gone yeah back to the entry. For me now there's no entry since I am actually uh, waiting for the news to happen now. Good uh, to await it, absolutely.
Okay, so let's see. We got a further retest here on gold. The price will now be at break even. Yeah, after this move, around 25 pips in profit. And uh, yeah, you will see not giving us uh, much. Let's uh, the same happen on EGB, GBP USD. Yeah, we got a retest. On GBP USD, is more clear that we got a retest of these lows at least. So now we can have some possible price action. We are one minute away from the um, yeah. Wow, GJ broker retested on the dot. The The PSA, just curious about that. We are now uh, one minute away from the actual report, so probably now we're going to start uh, to see spiking up. And with this of the spread, we're going to have a high on gold and euro USD for this report coming up in 20 seconds. Let's see how it goes. Of course, now PMI the higher the better. Jobs I need to be not too distant from this no, from this number. It's better than expected, but this one is worse. So uh, might be yeah. You can we might see spiking up and down. Gold give us uh so this one would have been a loss, and then bam spiking up into a possible win. Your USD retesting exactly the same PSA. We might now see possible continuation up. The data is mixed. So yeah, this one is good. This one is good. Still away from 50. But um, if we break now again above these eyes, that's okay. Or break below the, the same PSA, the same thing uh, stands still. This, uh, but this month job, job openings are reducing from a sort of contraction. Uh, compared to the previous one and compared to the um, expected one. Yeah, same thing happened on uh, here and wow, well, yeah. Uh, GJ would have given us a 25 spike, 25 pip spike just for, just like that. Let's see, uh, the same thing here, if it breaks above, that would be the same, the third idea on gold. Uh, same thing if we break above the 2044 2045 but yeah this one would have been a loss due to the simple fact that we add the the news so this one would have been a loss oh, no, would have been a, actually i mean if it is not for the news uh, but it would be a break even because we were we were already around 25 pips in profit so that's okay and uh, yeah gp usd failing to break above with the mixed data, probably, mm, I don't know if we're going to see a one directional, uh, one directional bias, but mm, let's see. We add our uh, trade opportunities today. Okay, your USD now is breaking above, possibly having now finding that direction and probably betting on the euro usd on the usd uh, weakness also gp usd let's see if we got a retest of this area before continuing up Let's see if he's giving us the retest. I would love to see some contraction. Ah.
Yeah, also gold broke above uh, the key level, so we possibly got this trade idea already playing out. Almost be at break even. Your USD, this kind of close will be at break even now. With the TP around there, a little bit above the eyes. Gold will be at break even. Yeah, gold would have been already at TP. Simple, simple, as simple as that. The winner uh, TP and your USD probably, yeah, probably also you GU, yeah, GU gave us a perfect retest as well, almost at, at TP. Euro USD 8.5 pips, so one pip away from the TP. Let's see if we're going to have a, a bit more push, otherwise, uh, I mean, we are at break even, so. Enter over here, yeah. It's only be almost at TP, almost. Yes, and tonight we have the FOMC minutes, but I'm not going to to look at that uh, while trading. And tomorrow we're going to have the during the morning we have some GB, uh, not really imparting. At two we have the uh, CPI from Germany, which should affect Euro quite heavily. Uh, ADP change in 15 minutes, and then uh, jobless claims uh, as always plus some PMIs, yeah. And then we have Friday, the, we have the CPI at 11. Friday is going to be a full day, uh, basically, because um, just want to look at Friday. It's going to start with the retail sales at eight. Then uh, we have at 11, the CPI from the, for the Eurozone. Yes, uh, then we have at 2.30 a plethora of, <laughs> of uh, reports. We have the hourly earnings, NFP and unemployment rate, plus PMIs at four, yeah, to close off the week. So uh, basically it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be a full day from 11. We're going to have a little quick break lunch break and then back for the New York session, early, early New York session. Early New York session is tomorrow at two. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, this one would have been a basic, a break even trade, this entry going to around, um, 8.5 pips and then push back down. And uh, this one, the same. This one would have been a very clutch entry. I don't know if, uh, if, if I would have liked that, but I don't know if I want to say that is a winning trade or yeah, it's a 9.9. .9. Yeah, let's say that is a winning trade or a break even. And G GJ gave us this one and now it's sort of dying down. So yeah, to just have a recap of today's uh, missed entries. So that we can actually from uh, file the uh, our trading notes because I don't want to to miss out on that and stop uh, stop doing so. So um, yeah, because I can't do that, right? Let me just try to do that. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, because I want to, if I want to do that and I do it for these. No. Okay. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Uh, but it generally will do that. And uh, so this today is the third. Okay, so uh, we are going to do qu- some quick notes. These are the notes for January. So that's um, just January. And we have the gratitude and improvement, no trades taken, which is quite bad, quite a shame if we uh, look at all the opportunities that we had. So let's start with EURUSD uh, this morning. So this one was a little bit later than, um, than my trading time, but not so much. I mean, it was 10.10. 10. I usually end up, uh, end up at, at 10, my session. So we had one winning trade that could have been taken on EURUSD. This is still EURUSD at the New York Open with the price breaking and retesting, basically the same setup, but would have been a loss because it would have gone uh, to around 4.5 pips, something like that. Probably would have been a smaller loss than a full one. Then uh, same thing, this is after New York Stock Exchange Open. Oh, no, this is, no, this was right after this loss with the continuation above, pre-planned trade idea with the price uh, actually Breaking and testing, we knew that the range would have been small, but small, uh, big enough to have the stop loss at break even. Then uh, still EURUSD right after the report, this one, this entry would have gone around eight pips, which is still not too shabby. And uh, yeah, so not too bad. Then GBP, JPY, we saw, if you remember the, the London session, we watched. Uh, that one when the price was here, I said, okay, price can easily retest the PPL before continuing up. That's what it did. And if we also had this trade idea, which happened exactly here, break and retest for the continuation up. Same thing happened now. Uh, we watch it at the early, this I missed it because it was not at the chart in the early uh, new four hours. So it was uh, after the 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern breaking and retesting the order block highs and move into 30 pips. And this one was later uh, fueled by the, by the, what's the word? By the news, by the report. I want to check the spread to see if this one was at break even, if I would have been taken out or it pushed down and up. Yeah, because it, on uh, the USD pair, it pushed down and then up. So might have been like this, but if you push at the opposite, uh, it might have been a break even trade. Um, then here, GP USD this morning gave us a break even trade over here, a winning trade uh, at the early New, uh, New York. Uh, I was looking at this, but I missed this entry, the second candle. I missed that entry. Will have gone uh, 10 pips. And then after seeing the correction and the test of this same PSA, this one could have been another win. Now here, GPUSD gave us a better entry, which would have gone 9.9 pips, which are considered a win. This morning on gold, we saw the break and retest over here, would have gone seven pips, and then very slowly, but never back into at the entry level for more than 30 pips. And uh, then another possible break and retest of the of the bloody slows. And then this one would have been a break even going 20 pips over here and then retracing all the way back down. So yeah, this is the uh, later on. This is the break even one. Then another break and retest. This was the trade ideas. Also, you can see that this one, there was no retest, but look at these trade ideas. Bam, bam. Just waiting for a few minutes. This on, this happened like ten minutes after I took uh, this, this image two twenty seven, and this one happened at two thirty seven. That's when I left. So yeah, we were here, ten minutes. Another retest, and then we would go down, double top, and then also breaking below these lows for mo- two wins. Further win after that in the early new four hour candle. And this one would have been a probably a break even because we were up 25 pips and then push back down and up and then above the 2044, 2045 key level, that's where we got another break and retest 
at the same time that GPP USD was doing this and Euro USD basically the same. So uh, quite a few missed opportunities. So let's count them for cl some clear, uh, some clear cut uh, opportunities. So we have um, let's do it like this. One. This one was I saw that. Uh, this one would have been a break even. Okay. This one did, I did not see that. Did not see that. Yeah, this one. These two were the pre-planned ideas. So yes. Two, three. This one, uh, yeah, was not pre-planned. Mm. This one, yes. So this was another missed entry during the London session. This one was on during Lo New York. It was pre-planned. This one was not. This one was pre-planned, and I missed this entry. This one was pre-planned. I don't remember if it was pre-planned or not. Anyway, it was a break-even. This one was not pre-planned, not pre-planned. These two, yes. Uh, in the meantime, dollar is melting. Gold is melting, is all the way back down. Then, this one on EURUSD was pre-planned. This one, uh, was pre-planned, yeah, quite a long time as well. This one was pre-planned. This one was pre-planned, but it was a little bit late, so I will not put that. Yeah, and that's that's it. So you can see that three, six, eight wins, 12, uh, 12 13. So yeah, this will be uh, basically a Two plus two. Let's do it like this. It's an eight. Uh, it's a sixteen. Sixteen percent because it's uh, two percent. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. So it's a minus two percent. Minus this one. Let's say that is a minus two percent for the commission. This one. Each one is. Uh, let's say that is a. Three, three times, so it's a uh, plus six, plus six, which is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a forty-four percent day. It's a forty-four percent day that we missed. So good, good to go. New year, same me. Yeah, we got the breakaway test on GBP USD. Here we got the continuation up, and uh, your USD. Yeah, back to the end, back to those lows at the same time. Yeah, this is this is a nice yeah, yeah twenty pip range. Also on gold, we are looking at the correction, and it moved already uh, around fifty sixty pips. Yeah, breaking below even below these lows already 30 pips more than enough because overall this hourly it's okay if it closes like this because that's due to the mixed data just that as a scalper i can take advantage of the upside and the downside so yeah your usd same thing of course the hourly will close the same and i mean it's not will not close because it's uh we're still early in the hourly but uh, that's the movement the overall movement here, yeah, we are at these lows. So let's see, let's see what is happening. Oh, look like looks like that. Uh, GJ might retest here, might retest the PPL for continuation to the next PPL exactly. So uh, that's still something good. And yeah, but I think that's that's it for me. And even though we missed like 30 minutes and those 30 minutes was quite, quite good, let me just um, I put you the mute and 
fill out the notes.
So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed and I see you tomorrow.